All right, um, this is the long-term bug out bag. Long-term, you're not really hiking too far. Right. We're loading up some stuff. So this is for the this guy. This is for the going to This your is bug for the guy who brings the toilet paper. Right. All right. All right. So, all right, let's see what we got. Barely lifted. That's how you know you packed it right. Let's see what we got. Now this is like your standard sea bag. This is a German version I got that I like. Now, a lot of times, I'm gonna have my everyday carry bag. Somebody else coming with me is gonna throw that on. I'm gonna throw this on, and we're gonna do some hiking. So, got some serious rope. Um, now, this is like 300 pound rating, 75 foot. I don't know, it's just something cheap and quick you can throw in there. I actually like the Walmart uh, radios. They're pretty cool. Um, these work off a uh, USB charger. You can charge them up or you can throw a uh, AAA in there. I have AAA in there to get it started, but I also have a USB charger we can use. So, you know, that works off solar. So you'll be able to keep going with that. Um, I have another 72 hour food bag. You know, like that. Another, uh, another blanket now Kevin uh, talked about um, hygiene Dental not hygiene. getting gingivitis well one toothbrush for me and for the lady see I'm Important. a thinker now I actually one up Kevin I'm ready for dental surgery nice nice whatever goes wrong I got you got it covered prepper that's what they call it right there you saw it right here now I don't mess around with headaches extra strength Tylenol blood thinner size. whatever you got to do um fishing line like Kevin had now when it comes to maps same thing this is the big prepper guy so Northeast New York it's got all the trails got the roads they're about 20 bucks I don't know you might want to find one obviously for your area you probably don't want northeast new york and really the end of the world i'm going to do everything i can to get out of new york so i don't know at least that's going to help me get out right um i also again this is something i wouldn't have in a bag that i'm going 15 miles in but i carry a tent you know how cool are you when you can set up your shelter right there ready to go right um, what else? I have your uh, food cook kit. Now this is a crappy one. It's not what I'd recommend buying. Um, I do have a Stanley one somewhere, but it's with my camping gear. So what can I tell you? Got the little pot, the cup, a little fry pan action. But you know what? This will work. It's from the old uh, Boy Scout days, I think. But you know Stanley there's a couple other companies make some good ones um, I'll put them in the uh, links some of the better uh, versions but that's what I got in the bag right now got a little snare uh, setup set now it's illegal to go trapping with snares in New York State but uh, I'm not doing that I'm just prepared uh, flashlights I actually have a few of those in here um, man size flashlight I also go with I think the flashlights are probably where I'm going wrong on the weight I actually have three of these survival hammocks um these are uh, really cool because you can use them to hang stuff up in a tree when you got your food you know your storage like that yep when you're camping the bears. like I said you're uh, you're working it for you're trying to catch things these work great as a net um, they work great for catching fish. They work great for, you know, all kinds of things. I just find them very useful. I know if you go on the internet, you'll see a lot of cool things, different uses for them. I don't really want to get that into detail on it. But, uh, you know, that's cool. Whoa. I have a couple of these uh, tree spikes for climbing trees. I don't know. Just seemed like something I'd want in there. Yeah, you can't pack a whole... Uh whole deer hide but you can uh, at least get up 
up in the tree and see uh, see what's coming and going. Now this, maybe I'm crazy, I've never really seen it in other guys' ones, but uh, this is a uh, predator call. And, or, yeah. And so the idea is it makes the, uh, like, rabbit in distress, you know, kind of noise, the squealing. Um, they're kind of cool for uh, bringing in things, might help you out. I don't know. I had some plans for it. That's up to you guys. Now, you have a couple of different options when it comes to knives in your bug out bag. Um, Kevin's that he's wearing right now, this is kind of your standard go-to. Mm -hmm. I think if I just had one knife, this is probably what I'd do. This is um, your Bear Gorillas from Gerber. Mm -hmm. It's got a How's sharpener, that? it's got Does a it fire starter. Yeah, it's fire pretty starters. standard knife. Um, I don't know, it's cool, it's useful. Uh, when I was first getting into it, I was all like K-Bar or whatever. This thing's super sharp. I've cut my hand open on it a few times. Kind of cool for the hardcore knife fight, but uh, maybe not your best choice. Um, I don't know. Everybody has their opinions, right? So keep moving along. I have emergency poncho. Nobody wants to be all wet, stuck. Um, extra socks. Got to Ziploc these, bud. Listen, I'll give you a Ziploc. Um, see what else we got here. We have, well, for some reason I have a lot of extra clips. I don't know what that's about. I don't know who would, who would do no, that. It's going on there <laughs> for some reason. But uh, I have a standard first aid kit. Again, we'll... Uh, yeah, that's, that's a better size to be carrying with you. It, it, it depends on... Um, how long you're going to be out and how far you're going to be from help. But if you got to take care of yourself, you need something uh, that size. Now this is like your standard like Sam's Club or Walmart kind of first aid kit. We're going to get more into what's in it. But I mean, I've added things. This isn't your standard. But uh, again, we're going to have an episode we do it. But I usually have sutures and some other stuff in here. We'll get into that, you know, when we talk about first aid in another video. Um, we also have some quick clot couple bags um, another magnesium fire starter I also have a Israeli battle dress you hear a lot of the prepper guys that's a cool one to have I have a survival candle bunch more of these setting up my uh, little tree stand scouting out I have uh, one of those survival blankets they're pretty cool um, great for building a shelter, great for wrapping up, keeping warm, keeping your stuff dry. A lot of cool stuff there. More uh, quick clot. Let's see what else. One of those uh, ice bags. Quick clot sponge. This is uh, the way of the future now. You really don't want this older quick clot. Quick clot sponge is what's going to pay off. Um, the difference is quick clot. I mean, we'll talk about it again in the first aid stuff. But quick clot, it ends up leaving like gunpowder kind of stuff inside the wound. Not really that cool. This cool gauze sponge, you can pull it right out when you get to real medical help. And it does a way better job for cleaning it up. Uh, let's see what else. Another one that's a little different than Kevin. Again, you're worried about space and weight. You know, my bag, this bag weighs like 100, 120 pounds. It's not something you want to go hiking with. It's not really comfortable, but it's something I can carry two miles. I probably go four miles if I have to. But uh, this is a hand crank radio. It has a uh, USB charger, so I can charge up those uh, handheld radios there. I can also check the weather, know what's coming, hear what's going on here, find out that we've been invaded, whatever. Zombie apocalypse, where they're on the move to. And it's also a uh, crank flashlight. So another bonus there. Um, see what else? I got some snare wire. I have some different snare wire. You can use wire for anything. Um, it's just useful to be able to tie, you know, mm -hmm. things down like he was talking about. Um, I have a case of the batteries. This is a lot of unnecessary weight. And if I'm trying to, you know, keep things moving 
this is the first thing that I'm leaving is this set it's getting left on the side of the trail because it's just going to slow you down but I keep it in there because if I can control my situation you know at least that way I have a choice right right um see what else when you're thinking long term I like to add with the first aid kit I carry wound wash um that's pretty cool when you're out I have tons of uh, books of matches in here because you never know. No, you're probably thinking Ziploc bag is what you're probably yelling at me right now. Um, see what else? Another one of those survival lanterns to go with my toothbrush. Crest. Toothpaste. Crest. Pro Health. That's the uh, secret of champions right there. Um, more wound wash actually. I don't know. Maybe I overdid it there. I have a um. A camouflage netting now this is kind of cool if you're hiding out and you're trying to secure an area it'll pay off both with hunting or if you're trying to get away from somebody you know I hate to say it when you bug out that's actually a possibility is you might be trying to hide from other people mm -hmm. otherwise you might have some time to plan your uh, escape right so you know more snare wire um no I actually take uh, allergy pills um with me just because i want to be feeling on top of my game when you have the red itchy eyes or you're sneezing or the runny nose or you just feel like crap i don't want that if this is something that you normally uh you know would take you want to think about your regular medications and kind of keep an extra supply in there again it goes with the tylenol you know they're just things that pay off um i have camo face paint that's just because i'm crazy I don't think that's something anybody really needs. Um, I actually carry a full package of uh, the AA batteries. And that way, you know, I'm good with the, uh, the flashlights. They're going to last me a serious amount of time. If I use it sparingly, that I'm good forever, you know. Um, I have some extra holsters, which whatever. It's just different stuff in there. <laughs> I got a bag full of batteries. I have more batteries for my uh, f big flashlight. Again, they're probably going to work better as a weapon. Um, more quick clot. Turns out there's a lot of that stuff. And I actually, I carry an extra tube of Neosporin. Now, this kind of doesn't fit, and it doesn't necessarily uh, make sense maybe to you guys, but I carry some uh, bow tips. I have some hunting tips. Um, a lot of times... I'll have my bow in the truck with me um, and same thing I carry a uh, gamo uh, air gun a lot of times will be tucked in there and so I have a bunch of gamo rounds that kind of stuff um, having the little air rifle that kind of thing that kind of helps with your survival but again you might not be able to take that kind of stuff with you so that's your call you know I mean that's how I do it with my survival I throw in this extra stuff that I'm going to use because I know in my truck, oh, I got the bow where I'm going to grab it and I'll be able to hunt with it. I know I'm going to have this stuff. If you don't have this stuff in your, you know, whatever, throw in an extra big air guns or a bow in your bag. I mean, there's those fold-up ones. They're kind of expensive. Something like that's cool. Maybe even a slingshot. <laughs> I think in New York they're actually illegal here. Yeah. So, you know, you can't really protect yourself. But, uh, you know, this is the big buffet, you know. Here you have full-on survival. Uh, I usually, like I said, have my everyday carry bag. So that would usually go out in addition to this. But, I mean, you're rebuilding the world with this. This is full-on, you know, I'm starting over. I'm setting up a homestead, you know, off the grid. Uh, I know if I'm leaving, I'd probably try and grab some tools on my axe. Believe it or not, I keep my axe right next to my bed because one of my uh, cherished possessions there. But, and you know, you might want to grab a shovel, that kind of stuff. But again, those are all adding the weight. They're kind of beyond bug out bag. Right. And so, but this is what's actually in my bag that I would throw in my truck if I'm leaving in a hurry. Um, I am absolutely certain that I would go over to my long term food storage and grab some of those containers and throw them in the truck with me when I'm heading out. But it's not something I can carry. That's not bugging out. Mm -hmm. That's not, you know, quick, I gotta go, you know? So, basically that's it. Um, I guess uh, 
we'll move forward and head to the next step.